Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're entering the world of public speaking, and I'm going to be introducing you to a concept known as the public speaking cutoff. We're often hearing about practice. Did you practice your speech? Well, practice some more, my friend, because you have all this speech anxiety, and one of the best ways to reduce speech anxiety is to practice, right? Right, but there's a catch. The catch is that you can easily overpractice. And overpracticing typically happens when you're practicing so much that each rep is actually making you more nervous rather than feeling empowered. And you tend to overpractice when your mind does not have any uh, clear guidelines to follow. So in my book, The Speaking Wizard, I talk about how you should follow the 5x rule. The 5x rule is when you aim to get through your speech five times to perfection. Anytime you mess up, you need to start back over. And by perfection, I don't mean that you're saying it verbatim uh, each time, but instead, you're satisfied with your delivery. So let's say in the final five seconds, uh, for some reason you forget a big point and you're over here stumbling and fumbling, you need to start back over. Now here's what's gonna happen. Uh, to nail the 5X rule as an outsider, you're like, I could easily do something like that. But as you're doing it, it's a little bit more difficult uh, than it seems. If it's a, a eight minute speech, it could take you a day or two to really nail the 5X rule down. But here's the thing. Uh, nailing the 5x rule is a lot like creating a mnemonic. Uh, to create the perfect mnemonic takes some time, but once you have it, you remember that piece of information forever. It's like um, chowdhury. Uh, when I first came to this country, a lot of people would say uh, chowdhury, but many people would forget. They'd be like, what did you say it was? Chow, chow, oh, oh. And they're uh, malfunctioning. But th then one day my teacher was like, clam chowdery. And once my classmates heard it like that, they remembered it forever. It's the same thing with doing the 5X rule. Once you are capable of getting through your speech five times to perfection, now it's in your subconscious mind. The, f the big ideas are in the forefront of your mind and on speech day, you will dominate. But once you nail that 5X rule, this is when you want to activate cutoff mode. See, every fiber of your being is want, going to want to keep practicing this speech more. You're like, well, I should have said it like this. I should have said it like this. Instead, if you hit the 5X rule, activate cutoff mode, which means at that point, you do not practice at all. My general rule is practice in a way where one to two days before your speech, uh, you're focusing on the logistics. And the logistics include, are your clothes clean and ironed? Uh, do you know how far uh, the place is, uh, the venue? Uh, what's parking like? Uh, do you have to pay for parking? Sh should you carry some extra cash? By focusing on the logistics during this uh, time, during the cutoff, what happens is that you're fooling yourself into realizing that, oh, the speech? That's already taken care of. Now I need to focus on the other parts. And by the way, the logistics are just as much of preparing for a speech as the actual speech. Plenty of people completely forget about this. What they do is they're over here practicing the speech the day of the talk. Their talk is in, let's say one more hour. They're still trying to get more reps in. And what happens is that's when they're like, oh, wait a minute, I, I have to get my clothes ready. They pull out the clothes from the closet for the first time and they realize the shirt that they were supposed to wear has a big nasty stain on it. They're like, I can't wear this shirt. What about this shirt? And this other shirt, the backup, it's been tied on them ever since they activated their bulk cycle. But they're like, I have no other choice. So they're over here ironing the backup shirt. As they're ironing it, and they get the other hand, they pull out their phone, they check GMAPs to see how far the venue is. They were expecting it to be 15 minutes, but now it's showing 45 minutes because there's an accident. 
So this guy's like, oh, God, I don't have any time to iron my clothes. I don't have any time to bathe. No, no, no time to even shine my shoes. And now they're over here rushing. They get into their car and now they're panicking some more. They want to practice the speech one more time, but their thoughts are elsewhere. They feel like a shell of themselves because they smell, their hair's not combed, their socks have holes in it. It's a big mess. So do the following. Practice, but practice in a way where you have a clear target in mind. Five. Five is what you are going for. Once you have hit the 5x rule, now boom, activate cutoff mode. During the cutoff mode, focus on the logistics and just relaxing. And then on the speech day, you'll be good to go. So if you enjoyed today's talk and you want to learn more about public speaking, be sure to check out my book, The Speaking Wizard. In this book, you will learn much more about uh, dealing with your speech anxiety, using that energy to brainstorm better ideas, how to dress up for your speech. You're going to learn more about the Toastmasters Public Speaking Club. Plus, uh, you will get some public speaking cheat codes that you will not find elsewhere. Uh, check out the Speaking Wizard in the description box, the pinned comment, or go on ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.